Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. If you find these videos helpful, consider supporting me through Patreon. So you have a bar chart or you have multiple bar charts and you've got labels. This is on the sample store, superstore data. This is how many sales, this is the category. And we've got this large category here. And as we make it smaller, we'd like to have it so that it wraps. Well, it's not wrapping. So you would say come under category and we're going to actually come up under label, under alignment, and we're going to select, you'll see the wrap, wrap is already on. And no matter how big or no, how small you make it, it doesn't wrap. So what we're going to do, there's a little bit of a workaround to get it to wrap. You have to kind of force it to wrap. I created two calculated fields. This one, first one is called uh, label one, category label one. And I apologize if I misspelled it. I can never get label right. And so the one that we're really worried about is office supplies. And so that's the one we want. To. We're going to actually put these on two different rows. We're going to do the, the wrapping for Tableau. And I did it pretty simple here to set if it's office supplies, office. You could make it so that it's the left 15 characters or 10 characters or something. But the reason I don't like to do that is because then you could end up with weird splits. So this is, I'm going to, it's a small, small grouping. So I can manually do this, make this office, and then everybody else is just going to be category. I oh, apologize. I hope you could see that. This is the second one. And now we're saying, okay, if it's office supplies, we're going to have it just be the supplies, the second portion. And then we don't want anything on the second row. So we're going to select okay, null. So now when we bring category one and category label two on the page, now let me just put the sales because this is where it came into a problem. Let's see here. Let's reset. All right, so here we go. I've reset it. So office supplies looks like looks pretty good, but the technology has a gap here that doesn't look as nice as I would like. So we're going to come back to label one. And we're actually going to add, force a, um, a line break in its character and it's ASCII character 10 is line break. So now we're saying basically give me the office plus an enter. But we're not going to do that on this category, the second one. So now when we put it, well that's goofy. And so you know what's going to happen is if we come to label 2 and add that break, then you're going to have two lines up here. So what I did was I come under here, under text, and we're just going to put label one and label two on the same row and if it is office supplies that office i sorry i can't make that any bigger office is going to have a line return and it's going to skip to the next line otherwise it's going to just say uh, furniture and then null on the same line or technology and null on the same line and then sales will be in the appropriate place so plus okay and that's what you would expect it to look like if you were wrapping the text. We had to force it. So let's take a look at that again. The key here is this character 10. That's going to force the line. And if, but everything else is going to be all on one line. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when new videos are released. Check out some of these other videos I think you'll find helpful.